Welcome to another Lumion tutorial. This is Chris Walton from C. Walton Design. We're going to be covering another new Lumion 10 feature, which is more of an update to the features before, an open street map. Now we finally get open street map with height maps, with terrain. This is, this is something we wanted for quite a while now. I, I hope to have this when it first came out. I love open street map. I have used it a few times. I typically have avoided it in general. I'm not I don't have too many scenes in the city, but I think I might be wanting to use it more. I have many methods of importing terrain into Lumion that I've utilized from other tutorials I've covered from using OOB, InfraWorks, just SketchUp. Uh, I believe terrain is incredibly important in the context of your scene, especially if you are in, a, or in an area with iconic hills and mountains around. And now Lumion gives us this ability with OpenStreetMap and it's blended so well together. I'm really happy. I look forward to covering this with you and hopefully, hopefully I can show you guys how to best utilize this to really add value and bring, bring your uh, context to life in your scenes. Okay, so let's move into this scene right here. We have this little house and I want to utilize the new open street map feature with height maps to take this take this house into a couple different cities and areas that have some hills that I'd like to see and showcase and help understand the context of this building. So in this tutorial we're just going to quickly go over open street map again its capabilities in Lumion 10 and how we to utilize height maps and strengths and weaknesses of open street maps in general and really quickly kind of get in depth take a look in depth look at this so let's take this building to a couple different cities and we'll start by accessing the open street map function which is under landscape open street map so we're going to turn this on it's going to explain that it's in beta that's okay still works pretty well and we have our coordinates right here so open street map again grabs you know a lot of white boxes that represent context that help in in cities if our projects in the city instead of having to model all these massings to help understand hey we're in the city there's some iconic buildings open street map can help it, it's uh, it's obviously not photorealistic or anything, it's kind of a more diagrammatic way, but if utilized correctly, it can look really good, especially with some of these height maps. So right now, I am set in San Francisco, which I think will be a good a good test here with, with context. San Francisco is obviously not a very flat city, so this is perfect. Let's say we want to move this house right on this road right here. So what we're seeing is kind of the extents of our model right here. And if I zoom out, we're seeing a circle. That circle is the open street map range of what we're grabbing. Those are all where all the buildings will come in. Now if I toggle on this height map, we're gonna get a big blue square. And that big blue square, which has already started to download height maps, that represents all of the height map information that will come in. It's actually the full extents of the Lumion scene. And so we're getting some interesting things here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off Side Rock and go back into here and it makes things look a little smoother. Now I moved it by holding and dragging, but you can also search in here. Oops, I set myself into the middle of the ocean. So let's just again choose an area on this road right here. And I'm going to grab as much open street map as I can. Height maps checked. And we're going to start to download it. So there's our building right here. We have some terrain issues here, but we can quickly remedy that. There's some advantages to the height maps that come in through open street map versus just bringing in a sketch up or some geometry and infoworks model and setting it in it'll be more accurate that way in more detail and you can have textures but with this terrain that comes in it is lumion terrain so we can edit it 
So we got the whole city of San Francisco coming in here. But we got a problem. Our building is buried in... In... Our house is buried in its buildings. So let's go ahead and... I can show you how to toggle building visibility. These yellow ones are, are notifying us that this is intersecting with remodel, so we, you're probably going to want to hide them. So we click on them, hover over them, click on them, and when they're in that red state, that means they're not going to show up anymore. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll even move these ones out of the way right now, too. And when we're done, those will go away. And we're still in a weird state right here, but because it is Lumion terrain that we just brought in, we could actually manipulate it. We do have control over it. So I can go this flatten here and I've brush up a little bit. And there we kind of are. Kind of the middle of the city here. Obviously, I didn't align this perfect in everything, but this will do. It helps explain how this is kind of how this kind of works. Gives you an idea of what we have downloaded. And let's take a look at some of the options we have here. So these op these buildings have all been kind of programmed in. They're supposed to be pretty accurate in height. But just in case, we do have a minimal building height in case, whatever reason, they're too small and you just want to get some more uh, contrast in, in your buildings here. And you can also randomize these ones. Just to kind of, if, if whatever you're getting it doesn't satisfy you and kind of making a good scatter of random buildings. San Francisco is a pretty well-known area, so they've taken the time and the information from OpenStreetMap has added like all of these buildings. So really sells it. Maybe it'd be better if I put my house on top of Coit Tower or something. Let's try that. So this time I'm going to stick it on top of a, a well-known hill here. And pretend like I get this beautiful view. up in here. It should be interesting. I'll go ahead and try that again. I'll probably have to do some terrain editing. Just give that a moment. Okay. So there's Coit Tower, a pretty well known area. My road isn't exactly conforming super well here, but this is just a diet, it's just a test. Looks like we have a couple issues with height that we might have to clean up. I'm going to go ahead and just pretend like we paid a lot of money in San Francisco to flatten this area for my house. Okay, we can kind of grab everything here, all things, and place on landscape. That should fix just about everything. And there we are. We got quite a view now. I can only imagine how much this would cost. So we can go into some scenes here. And let's see. Where was the city at? I think it's out in here. Looks like I have some fog going on. Which is pretty accurate out here, actually. There we go. building set up right here nor a road but it's pretty cool being able to stick the building right there and have all of that context let's get a preview there obviously some settings to adjust but pretty cool view that was fun. Let's try a different example now. So we're going to go back to the OpenStreetMap. 
And you know what? I think there's... I think there's some hills in... Uh, well, let's go down to... I think there's some hills over in Shanghai. So let's try searching in here, Shanghai. I guess I'll find out if there's hills. So it's found Shanghai, and I don't know anything else, <laughs> I'm assuming. And it looks like it's already downloading the, downloading the height maps, and definitely not flat. So this might be a really good example. I have no idea where it put me. Maybe let's stick us in a park, just so we don't have buildings right on top of us. And let's start downloading, let's see what this does to us. Interesting. So Shanghai is decently populated. Looks like definitely some areas are missing. <laughs> Our little flat section here remained. Interesting. So it seemed to remember some like customization I did to the height map. Uh, again. Uh, let's take a look at a couple other options we have here visually. So we do have some toggles. We have water set as blue. It's not actually water. Sometimes I think I've seen it render as water, but not in this case here. Earth, we can turn off that gray and just showcase the, whatever's the Lumion default ground. We can turn off the roads, keep them on. These land use or some of the other colored areas more diagrammatic and we can even toggle off the buildings if we wanted so you could have it just terrain with the buildings let's just go ahead and turn a lot of these back on and there are some styles to the colors of building obviously you can't edit them directly that one kind of mixes up colors or we just have them all white so Lumens gives us a couple options here our building now Shanghai if I could turn down the, uh, the fog here let's just do a realistic setting so we get skylight and a couple other effects going so if you're trying to sell where this building's at you got some context and just for fun I'm gonna try one more see if it still retains this if that's something it's doing another city with hills um hmm. I guess I could go to let's see we could try let's search I guess Los Angeles is pretty well known Again, I can test this out. I'll try a different area of Los Angeles. Maybe we can make it so we can see downtown. So again, we gotta be conscious and uh, we gotta be conscious of the square here. And also what's within the circle of what we're going to be able to see. I don't have any contours on this, so I'm kind of just having to assume where certain things are. I want to get downtown Los Angeles in the open street map, but also be up in the, the hill. See if I can find that balance. I might not be able to. Maybe I could just be down here and we'll see hills right here. Let's try that. Again, I'm just having fun, but this is a this is a great opportunity if you have a specific building in a very specific area, you can dial that in and stick it exactly in there and get some pretty accurate hills. Okay. So I grabbed downtown. I didn't quite make it to the hills yet, but it's really cool to see the detail of an open street map you can grab. There's downtown LA. Of course, our building is 
is right now kind of buried in some of these buildings, so I'll have to do that removal tool again. So, and interesting, get a view of downtown here. So it's definitely a lot of added functionality and value to this open street map. It's again, it's not something you probably need to use on all of your projects, but if you ever need if you ever need some uh, context and you don't feel like modeling all these thousands of blocks, it's awesome to have that involved. And it's, it's kind of another, another little fun little feature here too is if you take your building, if we do a cool shot up here. We can kind of have a fun tilt shift like effect. Let's uh, zoom our camera. Just, just having this much detail just automatically plugged in can make for some easy transition system effects like this. there and add a little tilt shift if I can remember camera so it kind of looks like it's in the model it was like site diagramatic diagram diagrammatical model diagram models so just a fun little idea. It's really cool having all this level of detail of buildings in the background. So I hope uh, I hope for those who haven't seen OpenStreetMap, I'll be able to kind of accurately showcase how you can utilize it with your Lumion purchase if you have OpenStreetMap. And for those um, new to Lumion 10, hopefully I'll be able to sell the height maps help you understand how those come in and again this is Lumion terrain so we can edit and do what we want with it after the fact after it comes in so if we don't like the way certain looks we certain things come in we can polish them we can sculpt things and and make it so maybe things aren't so extreme and look better in your scene you know I bet this would look great too if we stuck some some trees all throughout in here there's definitely a lot of trees out there in this area and yeah, that all covers it. So that is the new height maps into Lumion through OpenStreetMap. All right, then plenty more tutorials coming of the Lumion 10 features. Please subscribe, leave any thoughts in the comments, um, and thanks for watching.